so many problems could be solved if you just had some more money. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk in Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraught. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Mammon means money. Yeah, but I need some money. If you live in the earth, you need some money. If you're going to fulfill what God has called you to fulfill, you need a lot of money. So it looks like a catch 22, but it's not. So many problems could be solved if you just had some more money. Almost all the things in your life you could solve if you just had some money to throw at it. Mm -hmm. Which is why there's the temptation to serve money because you're, you're thinking that's going to be the solution to your problem. But did you know He, God, the Holy Ghost knows that you have need of money? Yeah. And He knows how to get money to you. Say, He knows, he knows. that I need money. I need and money. He knows... And he knows how to get money to me this is the good news Amen. you don't have to serve the money you serve him and he gets the money to you Amen. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 my God shall supply all your need and you can say this my God shall supply all of my need I like to say it this way sometimes you say you might think I'm sacrilegious but mm -hmm. my God shall supply all money is money a need yes. is money a thing yes. is money a thing you need yes. say my God, my God shall supply, shall supply all, money. all money how much money is that that's all money mm -hmm. well somehow we must be missing it then we're not supposed to serve the money we serve God and he supplies it First Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 trust in the living God yeah. who gives us richly all things to enjoy is money a thing yes. then he gives us when we trust in him richly all money to enjoy does this irritate you yet do you need money do you enjoy money how are you gonna get it oh I'm gonna seek it I'm gonna serve it I'm gonna run after it no you're gonna seek serve and run after the Living God mm -hmm. and he will give you richly all things money's a thing he's the Holy Ghost he's the Living God he's God in the earth today and if I learn to serve him he will give me richly all things all If I can learn to serve the living God, the Holy Ghost, God in the earth today, mm -hmm. I don't need to serve mammon. This is a major revelation. He is a God of wealth. Mm -hmm. You got to get some things over in your thinking that you've been tripped up on for years mm -hmm. because you thought, oh, I can't serve money. I can't, I can't serve it. Or, or I can't serve God at the same time you're not serving the money you're serving God but he is a God of wealth he's a wealthy God yes. say God, God is a wealthy God. a wealthy God he is a God of all wealth and everybody you know in their stupid Hollywood brains think if I serve the devil he'll give me well you know the devil will kill you he's a liar and a thief mm -hmm. so knowing God the Holy Ghost in this way is a major revelation that God is a God of wealth and if I serve him he will make me rich mm -hmm. say if I serve, if I serve him he will make, he will make me rich, me rich. 
major revelation i don't have to serve mammon i'm serving him Haggai chapter 2 verse 8 the silver is mine and the gold is mine saith the lord of hosts who said it the lord of hosts what's his the silver and the gold all of it mm -hmm. all of it yeah. say all of it. all of it belongs to him yes which means he can give it to you if you're serving him get it straight this is not what they told us in sunday school is it no. knowing him as the god of wealth is a huge revelation knowing him listen knowing him as the lord of spirits or here written the lord of hosts is a game changer that's good you need the game changed yes. you've been playing the wrong game the silver is mine and the gold is mine saith the lord of hosts knowing him as the lord of hosts is a game changer mm -hmm. you want to been trying to get across to you he owns all the silver and all the gold lord of hosts yes. he goes on to say the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former saith the lord of hosts mm -hmm. and in this place will i give peace saith the lord of hosts he says lord of hosts three times mm -hmm. hosts literally is translated armies what armies is he talking about mm -hmm. the spiritual armies that is comprised of angels say angelic forces. angelic forces he's the lord of angelic forces what are angels they're spirits are you here he's the lord of spirits and these spirits happen to be angels yes. Is this too difficult no. the silver is mine the gold is mine the glory of this latter house who's the latter house yeah. we are shall be greater than the former which was the greatest in all the land mm -hmm. it's an embarrassment of riches say an embarrassment, an embarrassment. of riches so blessed it's embarrassing does that sound like what they taught you in Sunday school no. John 4 24 says God is a spirit and they that worship him so there is a they that worship him God the Spirit mm -hmm. are you part of the they that worship him mm -hmm. it's up to you you don't have to worship him god the spirit you could just be unscriptural but i'm part of the they that worship him now he is the lord of spirits that worship him are you here i have a whole nother message i've already preached on this so i'm expecting you to get it mm -hmm. he's the lord of they that worship him it's personal meaning if people don't worship him it's not personal with them he's not that to them he's not the lord of spirits or the lord of hosts I'm telling you this is a game changer financially the lord of spirits that particular name of the holy ghost is personal he is the lord of spirits lord of spirits he's the lord of mm -hmm. spirits that worship him they that worship him mm -hmm. he's the lord of yes the lord of spirits takes personal interest in those who worship him anyone who worships the holy ghost as god knows what i'm talking about mm -hmm. he takes a personal interest in you because you worship him say the holy ghost, the holy ghost. takes personal takes interest in me because i worship him it's personal 
the silver is his the gold is his mm -hmm. and by the way you're not the only one worshiping him who else worships the Lord of Spirits the Lord of hosts the angels worship him say it the angels, the angels. worship him he's the Lord of angels that worship him there are angels that worship him God is a spirit and they that worship him mm -hmm. some of the they that worship him are angels yeah. you also worship him you're not an angel yeah. you're not an angel yeah. I'm a person but I worship him angels worship him I worship him the angels worship him and I worship him he's the Lord of Spirits yeah. are you here yes. I'm in that group I'm in that company mm -hmm. I'm in a company of angels that worship him yes. he's the Lord of hosts yes. I'm sorry I'm not gonna not talk about the angels of God the angels of God are a huge part of his plan in the earth especially in this last day that's why he said the glory of the latter house will be greater and he called himself the Lord of hosts the Lord of hosts the Lord of hosts why because because he forgot what to call himself no there's a reason big part big big are you someone who worships God the Spirit are you you can answer the question you go yeah I, I'm someone I worship the Holy Ghost I, I know he's God I worship him the Bible says God is the Spirit and they that worship him I'm part of the they that worship him mm -hmm. I'm telling you and I can read scripture after scripture I'll probably take you to a couple yeah. that say the angels worship him mm -hmm. so you're in that company that's your company they worship him say they worship him I worship him you're in this company they that they that plural they Revelation 22 verse 8 and I John saw these things and heard them and when I had heard them heard and seen I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things John was so overwhelmed by these revelations that he fell down in front of the angel and was about ready to worship him then saith he unto me see thou do it not for I am thy fellow servant say fellow servant. fellow servant that means he's he's doing the same thing you're doing we're both serving and of thy brethren the prophets and of them which keep the sayings of this book worship God I'm thy fellow servant worship God mm -hmm. I'm doing the same thing you do worship God yes. who did the angel worship God are you here yeah. this isn't that complicated worshiping God is part of your service to God he worships God and he's saying that John should worship God mm -hmm. fellow servant mm -hmm. I am thy fellow servant so like you worship God ah 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 you've gone off into heresy because you talk to angels but I don't worship them I don't worship angels the angel if I were to obey this angel say obey this angel, obey this angel. I would worship God right, right? Yes. the angel said worship God I worship God but John talked to them did John talk to them he literally just said things to him <laughs> Daniel saw them talk to them Jesus saw angels and talked to them Moses saw angels and talked to them angels are a huge part of what God does in the earth yes. and all the prophets even said that of thy brethren the prophets and them which keep the sayings of this book yes. do you keep the sayings of this book yes then angels are involved in that mm -hmm. 
fellow servant well angels are a huge huge part of how god the lord of spirits operates in the earth can you imagine if you will someone who calls himself the lord of spirits or the lord of hosts that angelic forces would be a very big part of how he does things mm -hmm. hebrews chapter 12 and verse 22 you are come unto mount zion and unto the city of the living god the heavenly jerusalem and to an innumerable company of angels you are you are come to an innumerable company of angels what company a company of angels mm -hmm. angels Inc <laughs> you've come to that company you've come into that company yeah. say I've come in, I've come in. To, that to that company they worship him you worship him mm -hmm. they're fellow servants with you of who him living God I have come into an innumerable company of angels yes. what's your company ah, innumerable <laughs> Hebrews chapter 1 verse 7 and of the angels he saith he saith mm -hmm. who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire his angels are spirits yes. and their ministers your fellow servants you're a minister of his you're a servant of his mm -hmm. he's the lord of hosts he is the lord of spirits go to verse 14 are they not all ministering spirits mm -hmm. say all. all all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation so all of these angels these spirits have been sent forth to minister for us because we are the heirs of salvation mm -hmm. this innumerable company of fellow servants yes. this company we're in this company that worships the Lord of hosts yes. mm -hmm. the Lord of spirits that you were are you here yes my angels are sent to minister for me they've been sent here there's an innumerable company that i have come into and they are here to minister for me yes. me and my angels worship you holy ghost mm. say this me and my angels, me and my angels. Worship, you, worship you holy ghost holy talk about multiplying your efforts right. now that's a company to be in yeah. Jesus said he could call on more than 12 legions and as far as I understand that's that's about 12,000 said more than I could call on more than 12,000 angels for one task seems a little overkill to me mm -hmm. but so what why not you've got an innumerable company but this is how we take over multiplying our efforts with the use of the angelic forces that have been sent to minister for us and with us are you here mm -hmm. knowing the Holy Ghost as the Lord of Spirits is a game-changer I'm telling you this can you hear it there are financial angels you can understand this right some angels have specialized jobs to do we can see that in the scriptures there are angels with specialized equipment specialized jobs i'm telling you there are financial angels he said the silver's mine the gold is mine says the lord of financial angels tasked 
and specialized if there are financial verses are there financial verses yeah. then there are financial angels mm -hmm. psalms 103 verse 20 bless the lord you his angels that excel in strength that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of his word bless ye the lord all ye his hosts ye ministers of his he says they're angels he says they're hosts he says they're ministers of his yes. what do they do they do his commandments yes. hearkening unto the voice of his word if there is a word of god that has to do with prosperity and finances then he has angels that hearken to that and do it say they, they hearken and do it well we hearken and do the word they hearken and do the word they are fellow servants they hearken unto the voice of god's word how does god's word get a voice you give voice to god's word they've been sent to minister for you as you give voice to his word Amen. say that i'm giving voice, I'm giving voice to god's word, god's word. And, the and the angels hear it, hear it. And, do it. and do it luke chapter 6 verse 38 give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down and shaken together and running over shall men give into your bosom for with the same measure that you meet with all it shall be measured to you again mm -hmm. give and it shall is this a promise of god mm -hmm. yes. is this a financial promise of god yes. how does this come to pass angels give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men give into your bosom for with the same measure that you meet with all it shall be measured to you again there are angels that measure things did you know that i could take you to verses in the bible where they measure the stream and they measure the water it's this deep it's that deep it's is this far around the temple they were me measuring angels say measuring angels. measuring angels specialized task to measure it shall be measured to you yes. this is an angel verse give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men give into your bosom how's that gonna happen angelic involvement makes it happen well i was walking to the mailbox a couple weeks ago i was walking to the mailbox and i had a fist full of checks that i was sending to preachers and ministries mm -hmm. because i'm going to do luke 6 38 mm -hmm. i give and it's given unto me good measure pressed down shaking together running over men given to my bosom Amen. with the same measure i'm going somewhere with this i'm walking to the mailbox and in my hand i've got my seed and i was about ready to pray over it and before i could start praying over it he says don't pray over your seed ever again and i'm like well, i guess that's it for that he said say luke 6 38 why would he say that well what am i going to pray i'm going to pray god would you increase my seed god would you multiply my seed i'm going to pray something he's already said he would do he needs someone listen he needs somebody in the earth to say luke 6 38 why because the angels hearken and do the voice of his word yes. and if he doesn't have anybody to say it the angels can't do it and be scriptural That's right. they're fellow servants so if you can receive it 
never pray over your offerings again don't do it say luke 6 38 say i have given and it is given unto me good measure pressed down shaken together running over do men given into my bosom with the same measure i meet it's measured unto me again i did not say never pray about where to give how much to give when to give i didn't say that mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. i said never pray over it again say luke 638 and after that i started getting revelation on luke 638 still getting it to this very day one of it was the measure with the angels this is an angel verse say this is an angel verse, an angel verse. angels love this verse of scripture do you know it's part of their job to move on you so that you can give mm. and then it's part of their job to make sure that it's given back to you good measure pressed down shaking together and running over in the measure yes. well as i was meditating on it and meditating means saying i was saying luke 6 38 do you imagine that i did that then i'm not praying over it again i'm gonna say luke 6 38 i have given and it's given unto me good measure pressed down shaking together running over men given to my bosom with the same measure i meet it's measured unto me as i was doing it i came to realize who said this jesus, jesus said this do you know jesus was a preacher do you know this was part of his message that he was saying to people can you imagine the uproar all the preachers telling them to give he's telling them to give those preachers telling them to give and it'll be given unto them magically good measure pressed down jesus was a preacher yeah. and then holy ghost said to me he said i told him to say that the holy ghost told jesus to say that that's where jesus got his messages from it was the holy ghost the spirit of the lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach he told him to say luke 36 38 he told me to say luke 6 38 are you here yes. well, the holy ghost told jesus to say it it's good enough for jesus it's good enough for me it's good enough for you too and when you speak verses of scripture you are literally calling on those angels to go forth and bring them to pass Amen. well how many of you here have ever given into a ministry and it seems like you haven't reaped the way you thought you should have you ever done this mm -hmm. i've given into a ministry and i just didn't reap the way i thought i should have this message answers that question if it's the angel's job to bring to pass luke 6 38 because they hearken unto it and you haven't been saying it you've been praying god multiply my seat they don't respond to that they hearken unto the voice of god's word this message answers why mm -hmm. now listen one of the best ways to multiply say multiply, multiply your abilities is to employ others that are specialized in the things that you need to do luke chapter 17 and verse 7 which of you having a servant plowing or feeding cattle will say unto him when he has come from the field go and sit down to meet and will not rather say unto him make ready wherewith i may sup and gird thyself and serve me till i have eaten and drunken and afterwards thou shalt eat and drink which of you having a servant which of you having a servant do you have any servants do you have any fellow servants mm -hmm. do you have any ministering spirits that have been sent forth to minister for you that you've just let sit there 
and do nothing ministering spirits sent forth to minister for us sent forth sent forth who does the sending forth we do, we do by the words we say Amen. we have come to an innumerable company and my angels this company i'm in and with have the potential of multiplying you they do these things these angels influence you into a reality that i live in and you shall too we've come to this innumerable company and we live in it this new economy of angels i must move with angelic influence say i must move, I must move. with angelic, with angelic influence. influence they influence you to give and they influence others to give into you good measure pressed down shaken together running over do they give into your bosom with the same measure you meet thank you holy ghost that we have come to this innumerable company of angels and they've been sent forth to minister for us and as we use your words and speak your words they hearken to it and do it and we all please you we all worship you holy ghost lord of spirits and we give you the glory and the praise in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you my offering is being multiplied i say i give and it is given unto me good measure pressed down shaken together and running over do men give into my bosom with the same measure that i meet it's given back to me the father is worship the holy ghost in jesus, jesus right amen holy ghost your god in the earth today 